Adrian Newey has confirmed that he will be leaving Red Bull Racing. Welcome back to Racing Direct, guys. And yes, you heard that correctly. Red Bull Racing and Adrian Newey dropped an absolute bombshell in the Formula One world today, announcing that the master designer is quitting the team. So make sure you hit subscribe, hit like, leave those comments, share the videos. It really, really helps, guys. Let's jump right into this crazy news. Now, while this news did come sort of out of left field and a bit of a shock for many people, you could sort of see this brewing from a long ways away. Of course, before the season even got started, the Red Bull Civil War kicked off. Now, we know there's a lot of problems going on internally at the team between the likes of Christian Horner and Helmut Marko. The head honchos back in Austria are also feuding. It's just a big, huge mess, and we've been wondering for a while how is this going to affect some of the key members within the team, the likes of their superstar driver Max Verstappen and their star designer Adrian Newey. Well, the first domino has fallen as Adrian Newey has announced that he is quitting the team. Now, of course, this man needs absolutely no introduction. He has been behind so many amazing title-winning cars. 1996 Damon Hills winning Williams, Mika Hakkinen's dominant McLarens. Of course, then he joined Red Bull after his time at McLaren. Built so many amazing cars for the likes of Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen. More championship-winning cars. Just an incredible resume this guy carries. This is going to be a massive, massive blow to Red Bull. And of course, as we know in this sport, sometimes it doesn't even matter how good of a driver you have. If you don't have the car underneath you, you're not going to win any races. So obviously, this is a massive blow for Red Bull. And this is a guy that you can't just pick off of trees. It's going to be incredibly hard to replace someone like Adrian Newey. Now, there's a lot more factors that go into this crazy announcement. Of course, we have to wonder first and foremost, where exactly is he going? Is he just retiring altogether or has he accepted an offer from another team to design another car? Who really knows if he signed anything already? We don't have an announcement on that just yet. There are a couple of options on the table that do seem like the likely possibilities. The first one, of course, we already heard this news a couple of weeks ago that back during the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, Lawrence Stroll made a massive offer to Adrian Newey. Now, of course, that shouldn't come as too big of a shock considering that Lawrence Stroll is dumping every single penny he possibly can to building an absolute super team to go and win championships. So why not go and poach the best car designer off of the current championship leaders? He's already recruited a amazing Drivers World Champion in Fernando Alonso. And now with Adrian Newey potentially coming over, again, potentially, this is just a rumor as of right now. We don't know if he's accepted the offer just yet. If he goes there, though, that would renew a relationship with Honda when they come in to take over the powertrain units at Aston Martin. And we all know how successful that was back at Red Bull. What this could also do is potentially lure Max Verstappen away from Red Bull. Bull. We know that Max Verstappen basically confirmed that he's hitched his wagon to Helmut Marko, and apparently there are some special clauses within Verstappen's contract that could allow him to walk if Helmut Marko is released from the team. We all know they avoided that crazy scenario earlier in the season, but who knows if there's another clause within that contract that would affect him leaving if Adrian Newey were to depart the team. And honestly, if Lawrence Stroll is dumping all this money to try and recruit Adrian Newey, who's to say he wouldn't do the same thing to recruit the current best driver in the world in Max Verstappen? But of course, with that previous news, we heard of the offer being on the table from Lawrence, the tie-in with Honda, the uncertainty around Max Verstappen's future, of course, him even saying that, hey, nothing's out of the realm of possibility. He doesn't know if he'll stay at Red Bull forever. There's a lot going on here, guys. There's a lot at play and a lot that needs to be dissected. It's going to be a ton of news coming up in the coming weeks, figuring out where Nui's going. But aside from Aston Martin, the other offer that we've heard is on the table is from Ferrari. Now, Ferrari is another team that can obviously basically just write a blank check and tell Adrian Newey, come and build us the championship winning car that you've been building for Red Bull for so many years. Ferrari, of course, want to get back to winning ways as soon as possible. So again, if you want to do that, you need the car underneath you. It only makes sense to bring in the best car designer. And of course, they shocked the Formula One world before the season even started with the signing of Lewis Hamilton. So bringing in Adrian Newey to potentially build another championship winning car for a final swan song and a possible eighth world championship for Lewis Hamilton... There is a lot on the table there, guys. So there's two real viable options, I believe, at the moment for Adrian Newey. 
Whether he's going to choose green or red, we don't really know just yet. It will also be really interesting to see if this is only just one of the many dominoes that could fall at Red Bull. Now, news of the Civil War internally has sort of blown over in recent times. It sounds like they kind of cleared a lot of things out of the way. Who really knows what's going on behind the scene though? If this is still continuing on and this played any major factor in Adrian Newey leaving, Who's to say the likes of maybe potentially Helen Marco and Christian Horner won't also leave as well? This has thrown a massive spanner in the works for pretty much the entire Formula 1 grid because now you have the top car designer out there on the open market. Nobody knows where he's going. This has also potentially blown a massive hole open in the driver market if this has any effect on Max Verstappen's decision. It's just crazy, guys. We really don't know what's going on besides Adrian Newey leaving Red Bull just yet, but it's going to be amazing to see what happens in the coming weeks and see who is where in 2025. But for now, give me your thoughts down in the comments. Where do you think Adrian Newey is going? Do you think Red Bull should be worried that they can lose some other top personnel including Max Verstappen himself because of this decision personally I think it's still a little up in the air for Verstappen's going to leave but in my side where I think Nui is going I believe it is Aston Martin I think that Honda tie-in the huge offer from Lawrence Stroll all of the rumors in the news we heard the past couple weeks that were going on in Saudi Arabia I think the stars are starting to align and we're going to see Adrian Newey in green next year. Thanks as always for tuning in guys. Make sure again you hit subscribe, like, comment, and share. You already know what to do and we'll see you next time on Racing Direct.